Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're doing a step tutorial. So this is a step that I put in my choreography a lot and in person when I teach my students always have questions about this step and I think it's because it's not quite worded the way that the body will un like understands right away. So hear me out. We're going to be doing cramp roll turns. So a cramp roll, I have a video on this too. If you've never done a cramp roll before, check the link for the playlist tutorial or for the playlist of step tutorials down below and you can try out a cramp roll and learn that. So this is a cramp roll, but it turns and it's a very specifically done cramp roll. A cramp roll by itself is step, step, heel, heel. In a cramp roll turn, it goes kind of fast. Da, 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 da. So you want to make sure you're doing just one sound at a time. More than anything, to make your cramp roll turns really nice sounding and very clean and crisp, you want to make sure that you're doing one sound at a time. We do have the tendency to just the into a cramp roll, like, okay, I did it. And it's like, it's, you did it, but you did a couple sounds at the same time, making there less than four because we really only heard three. So you really want to focus on separating the sound. Separate your heels, separate your toes. And I think the hardest one is that a lot of times we tend to step and heel at the same time. So don't put your heels down until you have done that second test. Okay, basic rewind on, on cramp rolls. Now there's different kinds of cramp rolls. It's not just step, 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 heel, heel all the time. In order to do a cramp roll turn, you have to do what I call an inverted cramp roll. So you have step, step, heel, heel, right, left, right, left, regular cramp roll. Now, an inverted cramp roll, which is what I call it, there's plenty of different names for it, but an inverted cramp roll goes step, step, right, left, heel, heel, left, right. So instead of making like a Z with it, right, left, right, left, you're actually going to be making a C with it, right, left, left, right. And then you'll, your left foot will be free after that. So it's going to go right, left, left, left. And then pick up your left foot. Let's just try that together. Don't worry about turning yet. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, left, left. Go like way faster. Right, left, left, right. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, left, left. One more time. Five, six. Let's do that together. 
So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So it'll go five is your step, six and a seven. Six and a seven. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. Try again. Five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, hold eight. Okay. I'm going to teach you a tiny little trick to make this a little bit easier. So it's an inverted cramp roll, right? What if you don't think about it like an inverted cramp roll? What if you think about it like a wrist? Think about it more like a wrist than a cramp roll, and it'll make a little bit of sense. So you have step, step, and a wrist. But instead of letting that wrist like slide forward, roll through it instead. Step, step, and a wrist. Step, step, and a wrist. So you Try it thinking about it that way. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, and left. Try again. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, and left. Good. Whichever way your brain needs to think about it, you have two different ways to look at it. Some people need to hear it as a riff and see it as a riff. Some people need to say, Jen, please stop talking about it like a riff. I had it with a cramp roll. I like giving both ways because everyone learns differently. So whichever way you needed to learn, great, awesome. That's the way you should have it. A lot of people I've seen really like the riff one because that just makes more sense. Step, step, and a riff. So without turning, let's try the left step. So thinking about it like a cramp roll, you have step, step, step. Let's do it together. Five, six, seven, eight. Step left, right, left, left, left. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, 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 two, three. Now think about it like a riff. Step, step, and a riff. But again, roll through that riff up instead of out. Because you don't want it to have that scrape sound. It still needs to be cramp roll like but you want it to roll through and come up, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. Step, step, and a rest. Again. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, step, and a rest. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Left, 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 left. Okay. Now, let's try turning it. So, there are different ways to turn it. You can do step, stop, and then do the thing. Or you can just stamp and then go into the thing. We're just going to do stamp and then we'll try it with the scuff. I'll explain that later. But honestly, choreographically, there are a billion different ways that you can do this step. So, we're going to go stamp, step, step, heel, heel. Nothing changed as far as what we did. And you can stamp or you can step. For me, it depends what I put in the choreography. Today, you do you, whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, it's the same thing as we did without turning. All you're doing is adding some rotation to it. Stamp, step, step, go. Okay, let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Let's try again. The feet did not change. It's still stamp, left, right, right, left. Or stamp, step, and a rip. The feet did not change just because we're turning around. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. Let's go a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is where it really helps to think about it like a riff. But again, don't let it be. It's not a riff. It is a cramp roll. 
So I'm only asking you to think about it like a rib so that maybe your foot translated, translates it better. One more time. One, two, three, four. All right. Left side. Okay. Ready? Slow. One, two, three, four. Stamp. Step up. One more time. change. We are just rotating while we do it. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Okay, let's try it a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. One more time. One, two, three, four. All right, now the variation with the scuff. Step, scuff, step, step. Step heel heel. So it's, it makes it have to go faster. The beat did not change. What I'm doing is step, stop, step, 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 or step, stop, inverse crimble. So just that step. Step, stop, step, step, heel heel. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Stop, 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 stop. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, stop, 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 stop. Try turning it. Feet don't change, you're just rotating. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, stop, 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 stop. One more time. losing my balance and then my rhythm is kind of off and I'm like mm. <laughs> one more time for me because I want to get this right five or yeah five six seven eight step stop step, 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 step. yes cool I feel better left side so we're going step stop right left left right okay so you're stepping left scuff right Right inverse crib roll, or step right, wrist left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Step, stop, step, step, heel, heel. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, stop, step, step, heel, heel. Okay, a little bit faster, and then we'll try it turning. Step, stop, step, step, heel, heel. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, stop, step, 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 step. Okay, turn it. Five, six, seven, eight. you guys learn this in a piece it will go much faster so just wet when you're practicing it practice at a good tempo for you and then push the envelope make it just a little bit faster keep practicing at that tempo and when you have it push the envelope again make it a little bit faster because in my pieces I pretty much use it that fast or if I have a scuff I pretty much use it about that fast so I'm a little dizzy <laughs> Um, rules of jazz and ballet also apply here. Make sure when you turn, you spot. I have this habit of using this arm on this step. I always use this arm. It's ingrained in me since I was like this big. <laughs> but you can use whatever arm you want unless your choreographer specifies a specific arm. Um, so yeah, practice and practice and practice. Just get it little by little, faster and faster until you're more comfortable with it. I hope that this breakdown helps. Um, if you have another name for what I call an inverted cramp roll, please write it in the comments. I love knowing what other people call things. Um, 
people have said reverse cramp roll, but I call this a reverse cramp roll because it is from the back to the front. It is completely reversed. This to me is inverted because it's kind of like flipped. So I just want to know what you guys call it. Some people have called it an inside cramp roll instead of an outside cramp roll. Just let me know what you do. I, I just love it. Um, but yeah, I hope that cramp roll turns was a good exercise for you today and that you maybe brushed up on it or you learned. So yay. Um, thank you guys for joining me for this step tutorial. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Join the tap fam. There is so much tap dance to be had on this channel. We've got step tutorials, technique exercises, choreography tutorials of all levels from beginner, beginner to super advanced and everywhere in between. Uh, we have Tappy Talks vlogs where I discuss different um, issues or like technique tips and pointers as a tap dancer. And um, there's also just random other stuff, some fun content during holiday times or copyright free covers that I make that you guys can use on social media and not be silenced because for a tap dancer that is tragic. So um, go ahead, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.